Oh my god, he's dead! We all should have expected this. It was kind of unrealistic that he even made it to 2020 anyways. Okay, real quick, let's go ahead and do a little MILF update. Things are going pretty well. Yeah, definitely pretty well. I was actually not expecting to make that video till the end of the month, but it looks like it might be here pretty soon. So keep on subbing so I can basically turn this channel into Hearts of Iron 4 WatchMojo.com edition. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different in this video. We're gonna merge two ideologies in one. A social democrat is somewhat similar to just like a regular socialist, kind of, and I didn't wanna make two different worlds for these ideologies. Social democrats believe in the rights of the worker and the little man. They will pursue both equality and freedom. They are an ancient leftist force found everywhere in the world. And as for the socialist definition, we have democratic socialists, also called left democrats. They are parties of the small people willing to discard the economy to help the ones affected by it. A lot of these countries only have one of these ideologies and not the Together. And I also kind of figured I'd be able to meme this video out a little bit more if I just included both. And obviously, I'm gonna break the rule a little bit here because I just had to. I mean, come on. Technically, Bernie's under social liberal, according to the Trump mod, but no, I, I absolutely have to include him. And finally, you guys have asked for a very long time, and yes, I have removed all the guarantees in the world. So we should see a lot more countries go to war with each other, especially in these regions all around the Pacific, because the US acts like some global cock block. Wait a second, Iberia looks a little bit different. What's going on here? Um, is this too soon? A little too soon. As for the Republic of China, it kind of looks like old filthy Frank has somehow gained control. Welcome to the rice fields, mother- I also think this video is going to be interesting because I've heard a lot about these three European politicians. So I'm sure this is going to be a fun one. I guess Turkey here, for some reason, has a Twitter party. Their DSP is using a Twitter icon. That's fucking lame, guys. I wanted to leave world tension just the way it is because I didn't want like a massive world war immediately. It is really fun starting off to just see countries 1v1ing each other. Come on, Tanzania, what you doing? You really need to get your act together. Hey, look at that. Catalonia seems to be doing pretty well over here. I mean, just ignore the fact that France is getting ready to invade. We have our very first war between Argentina and Uruguay. I feel like Argentina is always starting shit in South America. Is that normal? I mean, I know about all the Nazis that escaped here, so I guess it makes sense. India's leader looks like he finally got some of those bobs and vagini pics, and he's really enjoying those images. Belgium, come on, this is like the third time you've done this. You're really starting to look like a bunch of assholes. And Algeria is now taking out Tunisia pretty easily. Oh, actually, I should have clarified, Bernie's still protecting some of these Caribbean islands, just because I didn't want to go to every single one of them and remove the guarantee. Plus, the only thing these countries will be fighting anyways are hurricanes. Here's a different one, China going after Myanmar, which I, I like, actually. We've never seen the Chinese go after the South. They've basically gone after everything else, though. The socialist pirates of Somalia are now defending themselves from Kenya, as well as Iran is going after Armenia. All right, this is kind of unbelievable. Um, France, for some reason, declared war on St. Lucia. And of course, that was one of the countries I didn't remove the guarantee from. So now this dude is at war with Bernie Sanders. Okay, this should be fun. Thailand now going after Cambodia, so obviously, Indochina is screwed for this video. And then on top of that, we've got a classic Indian-Pakistan war. So both of these two Asian powers are gonna get a little bit of extra strength before their own wars break out. Jeremy Corbyn has just been kind of chilling here in the UK. Hasn't done anything so far. Although he better get his shit together because there's an election coming up in 2020. The Social Democrat of Russia is now destroying Estonia. Oh. Well, at least they weren't destroyed. Never mind. That was kind of a nice thing for you to do. And slowly, it looks like Bernie is island hopping between these former French islands. Oh, someone got nukes. Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, who the hell just nukes Venezuela? Uh, I guess Bernie Sanders would. That's a little ironic, don't you think? Once again, a country went after these islands and uh, the US had to step in. I'm pretty sure this lady got in trouble for corruption, but either way, I'll take her. We needed some Brazilians for the list. So we're approaching about three years into the future, and there are still no factions. I have a feeling maybe I disabled them for this campaign, but I'm not sure. This is the first war I've ever seen Indonesia get involved in. That's kind of cool. And I think Myanmar might be a little bit more powerful than I was thinking, because they're still trucking somehow against China. Well, I guess that's one way to respond to an all-socialist world. Uh, Laos and Vietnam just went back to communism. Touche, guys. Holy shit, I almost forgot. And I don't know if this mod is correct. Uh, this is kind of hard to believe. Is this... 
real life. Okay, well, there you go. Bernie has now landed in Venezuela, and I think he's about to just take this shit over. We also have Peru versus Chile, which is, once again, a conflict we've never seen. I'm not gonna lie, in the past, when I was doing an all-fascist or all-communist world in the 1936 start date, like, all those videos were pretty much the same. Like, the same thing essentially happened. These videos, however, have been pretty different, and I think it might be just because there's a lot more countries, a lot more ideologies, a lot more focus trees, which is obviously great because it keeps things pretty exciting. Afghanistan is fighting Tajikistan. Okay. I'm assuming this guy's name is Pierre. Pierre something? Pierre S? I don't know. Germany's going after Switzerland, though. I was just about to say Germany hasn't done anything in this video so far, but uh, there you go. There's a conflict. All right, there's another country just going back to communism. We should have expected this, I think. All right, there are factions. I didn't forget. I was getting really nervous because it's 2020 and there were no teams yet. We've got this French faction here that is uh, unfortunately the same color as the American Union. So that's gonna kind of suck. And now slowly, everyone is beginning to join Bernie's faction. Well, I hate to say it, my dude, but uh, yeah, you're about to lose everything. The US has also pieced out with Venezuela, and uh, unfortunately, because the mod has Bernie as a social liberal, he just turned Venezuela into social liberals. Oh shit, Bernie died. Yep, Bernie definitely died. And Biden is here to take up the reins. Oh my God, he's dead. We all should have expected this. It was kind of unrealistic that he even made it to 2020 anyways. Damn, and he died just before the election too. Don't mess this up, Biden, all right? Don't do it. I, I can't, I can't believe that. I cannot believe he died. I mean, either that or he got impeached because uh, the ruling party is still social liberal. Oh, okay, so I guess the Cubans joined the French faction and uh, yeah, that's not gonna work out for you. Another Indonesian war, all right, I'm, I'm cool with this, you guys keep going. Also, slowly, one by one, each country is reverting back to their most popular ideologies. And that's definitely gonna happen as we go three or four years into the future. I think it keeps things exciting and uh, kind of funny at the same time. France, you look like you might have an STD. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything, but I would definitely get that shit checked. Okay, well, I guess it's too late for that. Um, all right, let's see how ugly this is. Well, it's really not that bad, but uh, Macron is back once again. Also, both Brittany and Corsica are puppets to the Biden empire now. Germany also took all of Switzerland. So, Pear, Pier actually did something. Mr. S, I guess I'll just call him that. Oh, we also grabbed Cuba as a puppet. That's unexpected. Now that is some amazing paradox font right there. I almost couldn't tell actually who the hell this even was. Either way, it's beautiful. I've never seen some borders like that before. Iran is going after Syria and Kuwait after Iraq. We can always count on the Middle East for some exciting stuff, can't we? Trudeau is also back in Canada. So clearly the USA has been having a pretty big impact on most of the world. I mean, I guess I kind of should have expected that. We do now have two new factions that have formed, something in Africa as well as Indonesia. The Asian Entente. Man, I really like Indonesia in this game. Joe somehow won re-election after the death of Bernie. Either way, it's up to Biden to take care of the rest of the world. Corbin hasn't done a thing in this entire video. I mean, he helped with the invasion of France, but that's it. He's now just chilling in the American Union. Poland now versus Belarus. That's kind of a cool one. And now multiple factions are forming. I think the most significant though is the African Alliance here in the Middle East, as well as Ukraine has come to the aid of Belarus. So they're both gonna die. Putin is now back in Russia, and they're also a good example of a nation that really didn't do much here. I mean, they're always gonna attack the Baltic states no matter what, and they did that. But that's it. And I guess now China is gonna go after Korea. Which remember, I removed those guarantees. This actually turned out to be one of the best, I think, uh, AI only battles so far. I mean, just look at all these factions. This is beautiful. It is of course pretty one-sided with the American Union and uh, all of the Europeans joining. I thought if the Indians and the Chinese somehow worked together, which honestly never happens, then maybe, you know, they could form something powerful. That did not happen, and Russia has just been staying out of it this whole time. Both the region of Indochina, as well as all of Indonesia, have been probably more exciting than they've ever been before. And there's the final straw. Putin decided to join the North American Entente with Honduras. Okay. Nice move. So none of the great powers in the East are working together and they gonna die because of it. But anyways, yeah, this was definitely a fun one. I'm not sure if it's because we kind of split the world into two separate ideologies. And obviously having the United States as the only social liberal country 
probably change some things up a little bit, but I do think we all now know who is truly the greatest social democrat in the world. And even though Jeremy didn't do anything for this entire video, at least he survived the whole thing. <laughs> this was like the first video I've seen where factions didn't start forming until 2020. And I thought that made things a lot more dynamic. Again, as I said, at 165,000 subs, we'll be doing that MILF video. So please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Johan, Elfie, DestinyFucker9000, Stefan M, Stormblade, Michael Ghazi, Jane Copeland, Blackstar185, Wyon, Spatial Winter W, Kirby, and Furry Cruise for being my crack daddies. If you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much for helping, Crackboy.